Oh, you're right. It's just regular fate. Ew. Uh, yeah, I'll get this spooky Thank Halloween you. costume. Let's do this. I just oh. wanted to, I wanted to see if I could date her, but she's not. She's a shopkeeper. Yeah. But hey, this is my first time playing. That day you skipped class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Damn right. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. You're picking a lot of things related to your character. I'm picking a lot of things that are very polar opposite of me. Oh, I'm just picking... I'm picking literally <laughs> what I would do. I'm picking what I wouldn't do. Oh, you wouldn't hide from everyone in the bathroom? I mean, I would just skip class, but however, your actual me would not skip class because I am fear of failure. Oh. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathroom. The bathrooms. Oh. Death is overrated. My controller turned off. There we go. You give you got <laughs> You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. So fucking bold, I'm boring. You somehow you keep picking Damien. I didn't expect him to be here. You see Damien beating the piss out of a goblin. Like he always does when he's depressed. What? Yeah. You go over and ask him what's up. Man, I'm so depressed, I'm just gonna beat this son of a bitch. I've done that with a punching bag. <laughs> not an actual person. Oh my person. god, my controller keeps turning off, hold on. Like it's this is... whole heir to the throne of hell thing. It's really bumming me out. Okay, Satan's child. He is. I hate being a prince of hell, and I'm gonna hate being king of it even more. I mean, you like beating the shit out of people, so I don't see the problem. He doesn't want to do what his dad wants him to do. Fuck authority. I mean, how am I supposed to rebel against authority when I am the authority? Uh, fuck God, I guess? <laughs> Ugh, not even beating this pi the piss out of this goblin is cheering me up. Beating this Poor piss. <laughs> beating the... <laughs> Javian continues to beat the piss out of the goblin, but his heart clearly isn't in it. I mean, is there anything rad I can do as King of Hell? Literally anything? So we got, you're forgetting about the ultimate way to fight authority, total war, and kings have harems. I'd definitely join yours. Mm -hmm. Mm. That feels a little too bold, just saying. <laughs> hey, this is your, this is your adventure. I'm just here for the ride. Yeah, I do like the idea of Fucking total war. We'll go with that. <laughs> oh yeah, war! I totally forgot about war. Probably because my dads are such lame asses. They keep going on about what's the word? <laughs> Dip Diplomancy. Dude, I want to be a <laughs> diplomancer. Dip, diplo monkey. <laughs> I want to be a diplomancer. Diplomacy? Am I saying that right? Diplomacy? Whatever. I'll have it taken out of the di dictionary when I'm king. Suck on that, Webster. Damien's so excited he even stopped strangling that goblin. It sends you a massage coupon as a thank you. You gain two smarts and one boldness. I'm still boring as fuck. You're not boring, you're just not fun. Uh oh. Something happened to us. Oh, shit. <laughs> My oh. dick fell off. <laughs> That's what happened. You're practicing your moves against the invisible ninjas who are totally real and totally after you when you spy a much more realistic, much more visible threat. Yo, fuck Hammer. <laughs> Why am I helping Damien? Do you know what the most powerful force on earth is? These nuts. <laughs> Stronger than anvils or swords or my nine inch my, I was gonna say nine inch abs. I got dick on the mind. <laughs> uh, oh sh oh he's in love with you, Saf. Uh, I was gonna say it still says please hold. Oh, can you not see? I can now, yes. 
Okay. <laughs> it was just delayed. <laughs> and sheer love is already hardcore just because the feelings are so strong, and that's badass. The love will be doubly as strong as if it turns out that Saf is as hardcore as I think she is. Of course, there's really the only way to judge a person's true soul. You know her pretty well. Do you know what her inner murder weapon would be? Duh. <laughs> well, duh, you know. So now's the time to size fuzz. <clears throat> Don't be a dick unless you want to. Just remember, I've not been a dick to be you yet. <laughs> hmm. Well, I know you very, very well. Right? And I know that you are the ultimate murderer. Hells yeah. <laughs> Damn, I wouldn't have you thought of that. If major <laughs> cardiovascular disease were a knife, they would be the sharpest and deadliest knife ever. If they were a sword, they would be two katanas. <laughs> oh. If they were a gun, they would be an atomic bomb. You know, that makes sense. <laughs> a cardiovascular disease was raging in Saf this entire time. <laughs> And I never even knew it. Saf, stop eating McDonald's. You can have cardiovascular no. disease. No. Well, that's confusingly worded, to say the least. But luckily, <laughs> since you're the one who started this metaphor, you know that Saf isn't likely to die. Unless she is dying to go with Damien. Because, bam, you're welcome. And you gain three boldness. Hails to the year. I will return that favor. So you choose to tell us the rest of the... Now, if we were playing multiplayer, you wouldn't be... I don't think you'd be able to see me make those, you know? Yeah. Mario and Luigi were plumbers. Player order is desired based on how funny an off-brand version of these two heroes called Hans and Rudolph would be, who, aside from saving a kingdom, are also blank. Start debating now. Window washers. Ooh, window washers is good. I was gonna say mm. porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hans oh and Rudolph, god. the porn stars, <laughs> say plumbers. It's the tip of Rudolph's dick would just be like cherry red. What the fuck? Alright. <laughs> you think I want or you why, want? It? That's why they call him Rudolph! <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> just pick random every time. Yeah, but we should debate for funsies. I went first anyways. <laughs> Week two. Morning. Alright. I have no fucking money. If I was in high school. I would only spend time outdoors, honestly. But I don't want money. I'll go to the library. That day you spend some time on the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. There we go. That's what I would be. It only seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. Don't fucking judge me about my goddamn gotcha games. <laughs> this time it paid off, so fuck it. I gained two money. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm not getting any fucking... Oh, it's Miranda Scott again! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get... I, I'm not getting any uh, fucking stats. Oh, this is because I bought the the ghost thing. If you wear it like a spooky ghost, it'll probably smell like a spooky boo. Ooh. And that's why those treacherous air people are the absolute worst and are also like to the disappearance of Mars Argo. <gasps> oh, what's this? A ghost besides a foreign exchange student. What are you talking about? Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't see you there, so ghostly. You guys are joking, right? This is certainly just Sona wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in. Shut up! Whatever your name was, I forgot your name. What's his name? Yeah, you see, we we already forgot. Yeah, this, you don't this know, is Miranda. I didn't care enough. This is Miranda and Learned. this is Scott. It's hipster. Oh, it's Liam. His name is Liam. He sounds like a hipster. Oh. Jealousy is a powerful drug, Liam. Do not become addicted. Yeah, Liam, you don't see anyone saying, Oh, Liam is just really Sona wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in it. Oh shit, Scott's on to me. He knows that I'm actually Liam. Oh wow. <laughs> exactly, even though... This even despite the many times we suspected it was so... What? Oh, sorry, little ghost. We were ignoring you. That's true. Tell us, do you have any cool ghost powers? Oh yes, divulge the folds. Ghost's main power is levitating stuff. Pranks! Wait, how is that not fun? Pranks are fun. Not for everybody. Oh my god, it's the goth girl group. Yeah, <laughs> shit, maybe it's Minnie of Queen. 
Helia or Mr. Say she's praying to be the big bad of next season. Stop booing us, starts to save the world on daily when we need people here undermining morale. Stop boo oh my god, where did that one come from? I didn't even notice this one. Undermining. Oh no, what have we done? We made them miserable by forcing our little ghost friend to haunt them with its ghost powers. You do realize he just ran at them while booing. Liam, get the fuck out of here. Has made us evil. And we need to start living lives with good deeds so we can be forgiven for this. Maybe in 10 or 20 years we can be redeemed for this moment of weakness. Wow. That's some real guilt, isn't it? Liam's just not amused, yo. <laughs> He's like, Liam's like, hello, um, you guys are idiots? Oh, I lost things! No! Shit! Oh, I made them good people, and that was a no-no. Like, I literally said you made them better people. That's a no-no. Fuck. Let's go rock out. That day while rehearsing for class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative world sex. <sighs> this game is fucking <laughs> grody. <laughs> it is. It doesn't look it grody is. at all. It's like hiding under the surface that it's just a bunch of horny people. This game is just horny. Yeah. Your performance is intense and inspiring. And so you said I, I can't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what? I was gonna say, and you said I can't play my hentai dating sims. We're playing this. Damn, post those though. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. So did she just like fucking do oral sex on the stage? No, it was What's figuratively. No, 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 it was oh, figuratively. Okay. I got two creativity. Whoopee! She was playing music so well that it felt like she was getting her dick sucked. <laughs> you go up to the light booth to see how Polly and Damien are. <gasps> Who's Polly? Oh, the ghost. Oh, they're dressed up! That's adorable! <laughs> She's not having fun. No, lame, that's how we're doing. If I'd known they'd stick me up here just cause I missed auditions to go to that monster truck rally, I still would have gone to that monster truck rally. Wow, my words just got totally it's fucked okay. up. It's okay, I've been slurping. slurping. But I would have <laughs> gotten in like nine more fights while I was there. Why'd I have to be on so many cool drugs during casting? I thought the lights were butterflies and I just wanted to play with them. That's all in the past now. As long as we're here, I guess we better make the best of it. By fucking with Liam! <laughs> He's so hard to mess with. He's like, really good at acting. I just realized my fan's been on this whole time. Sorry. I had to go turn my fan off. Anyway, between the three of us, I'm sure there's something we can do to make him forget his lines. These are both Rewrite very the good choices. Play with just Liam's lines. Mm. So this affects everybody. Yeah, but it's easier. Yeah. Just go with your heart. Your evil, evil heart that likes to burn shit down. <laughs> you evil, evil child. Play it takes too much effort. I like Thanks how... for reminding me about this rocket launcher I always- He just fucking has a rocket launcher in his goddamn pocket. Yeah, it's shoved up his ass. This rocket launcher's just a dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't gonna have fun at prom, then. <laughs> <laughs> Damien fires a rocket at the stage just as Liam makes his entrance. It doesn't kill anybody, but all the actors are already undead. Or because all the actors are already undead. But it sure makes them forget their lines. After the show, a talent agent approaches the three of you about starring in a new reality show. It's called Pranked with a rocket launcher. You better not get fun for this. God damn it! I, <laughs> I got fun! I prank someone and I'm an asshole. You prank someone and you're like, here's some money. Hells 
Yeah. Fuck this game. I'm playing like I would play, but I'm losing because of that. Play it. I can't. I don't know what a draft sounds like. Uh, I honestly don't know either. Kaka. <laughs> 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 oh, you gotta go first. Finally. Hmm. This is bullshit. Maybe I should just play like I want to win. No, that's not fun. Let's do this. I'm playing like I want to. As usual, Miranda sits before her immaculate array of carefully arranged silverware. Damien, predictably, is examining her biggest knife. Hmm. So this is the one for killing people, right? <sighs> Disgraceful! What? Good heavens, no! This is the butter dagger! It would be <laughs> unseemingly to use it on meat! So what then? Am I supposed to use this scrawny-looking knife to kill a dude? No, no, no. If you simply must kill someone, then you know, it is customary to use the fish knife. This is Burfolk Court silverware, after all. That tiny thing? I might as well wait for my victim to die of old age. That is usually how it's done in my kingdom, yes. That, or poison. This is ridiculous. Yo, you there, which knife would you use to kill a guy? And don't say the fish knife! I entirely agree with this one, a 1,000%. I think you're just picking answers he's likes. How dare you? No, I'm just I kidding, I know, I know. For, you know me for years. I know years. you I for always, years. I yes. have joked about using a spoon as a weapon. No, I trust me, I know. I have cut myself on a fucking spoon. Okay, I don't think you need to tell YouTube that. <laughs> It was an accident. Obviously it was an accident. How else would you cut yourself with a spoon? Holy shit, that's so much more metal. Why didn't I think of that? Because you're a fucking idiot, Damien. <laughs> Half your brain is missing. That's why you only have one horn. <laughs> oh my god, it really is. I'm just being really mean to Damien because I, <laughs> because I can. I guess when the only tool you have is a knife, Every problem looks like a problem. You should stab with a knife. Damon, get away from my waifu. 